In this video, we help you troubleshoot the most common causes of salt taste in water. The first potential cause of a salty taste in the water may be a bad spacer stack assembly, a bad downflow piston, or a faulty brine piston that is allowing brine water to leak into the mineral tank. In order to determine whether this is the case, you should make sure the system is in service and not in regeneration with water flowing through the valve. Next, pull the brine elbow and drain elbow from the valve and look to see if there is any water movement in either the valve brine hole or drain hole by looking down into them for 15 to 20 seconds. If there is any water movement in either of these holes, the valve has a bad spacer stack or bad pistons. At this point, it is easiest to simply replace the spacer stack and both pistons, because identifying the faulty part is often very difficult and time consuming. If you don't see water movement in the brine or drain holes, you likely don't have a bad spacer stack or pistons. Next, you should check to see if the drain line is kinked, plugged, or too long. You can check this by following the drain line from the unit to the drain. Look for kinks in the line or for clogging throughout or near the drain. Clogging can often be caused by ice, salt crystallization, or dirt. If you notice any issues, you may need to clean or replace the drain line. Also, if the drain line run is more than 8 feet vertical or 20 feet horizontal from the system to the drain, it may be too long and will have trouble moving water to the drain. It may need to be shortened. To verify water is draining properly, put the system into manual regeneration and make sure water is freely flowing from the drain line. If you're not seeing any of the previous issues, Another item to check is the drain flow control button located in the drain elbow. Look to see if the drain line flow control button is clogged. If it is clogged, you'll need to clean or replace it. Another item to check is the injector assembly. Look to see if the injector is clogged. Check both the vertical and horizontal holes of the injector. If they are clogged, you'll need to clean or replace it. It is recommended to replace the injector instead of cleaning it, as cleaning it can often deform the injector holes. Another possible cause is an incorrect salt setting. If the salt setting is too high, there may not be adequate backwash or rinse cycle time. Check the programming settings to ensure the salt setting, backwash, and rinse times are correct. To go to the backwash, rinse, and salt setting screens on the valve, push the next and down arrow buttons simultaneously for several seconds until the valve shows the words Set Softening. Then push the next button several times to show the second backwash cycle setting. Make sure the backwash cycle is set for at least 8 to 10 minutes. Push the next button again and make sure the rinse cycle is set for at least 4 to 6 minutes. Push the next button again to show the salt setting and make sure the salt setting is correct for the system size. We recommend calling WaterTech to confirm factory settings for these cycles. If the customer believes the water is still too salty, you may want to increase the second backwash and rinse times by 2-4 to four minutes each to get a better rinse of the softening resins. The final troubleshooting step is to check the total dissolved solids, or TDS, in the feed water. If it is higher than 800 mg per liter, the sodium content in the water may be too high due to natural composition or ion exchange. To test for TDS, you can use a TDS strip or monitor to establish the current TDS levels. If high TDS is an issue, a reverse osmosis water filter may be the only option for eliminating the salty taste in the water. In review, here are the six areas to check if you have too much water in the brine tank. We hope this tech video has been helpful. Please call us or check out the WaterTech website if you need more information.